Hi, David. This is David from Helibatics.com. I just wanted to let you know we got your um, your orange uh, DIY module back, and we were just testing it. So what all I've done here is uh, soldered the wires to these um, to the servo cable, so I could plug it into the back of my Tyrannus here. And you can see I've just plugged it into the the PPM on the top, and then power and ground. Um, so then I turn the radio on. And there we go, and it powers right up. Um, you know, I can push the button here, and the light comes on. Um, what I'm guessing is that the reason it didn't work for you, it, it will not power up unless it sees a valid PPM input signal. So if I pull this white wire off, that's the PPM line, and at that point, well, it's because it's already powered up. Let me let me reboot it. So now you can see that there's no PPM signal and it will not power up. It never comes on. And that's probably what you were seeing. Since you have a Futaba, I'm not sure where you were getting your, your PPM signal, but um, Futaba uses a proprietary uh, signal internally. And if you, unless you get the actual normal PPM uh, signal, then it won't work. So that's, I believe, what you were having a problem with. Because uh, if I plug this back in, and I get the PPM to this thing, it will, it will power right up. You can see and hear it, and it works just fine. So uh, I believe that was your issue. Um, if you you know if you can find your actual PPM uh, feed on the Futaba, probably going to your trainer port is going to be a PPM feed. Um, the internal, if you have like a Futaba slot in the back of your radio, that will not be a PPM feed because. Futaba does not use PPM. They have their own uh, little bit different variety. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, you know, let us know. We can send this back to you if you want to go ahead and put it back in your radio and hook it up to probably the trainer connection. The trainer port will be PPM. So um, you know, if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks. Bye.